Peace, what up y'all? It is the guy, Anti-Simp, back with a new video. And this video is for whatever woman or whatever women that listens to my videos. If they're, I mean, apparently I have a demographic, a small demographic, so let me ask you guys a question and maybe we can get an answer. My question for you is, how long are you going to be fixing yourself? I say this because, you know, oftentimes you guys tend to like a guy and it's pretty obvious that you like a guy, but you don't have your mind right. And you know you don't have your mind right because you say things like, well, I need to work on myself or I need to fix myself or whatever the, whatever the phrase is, you know there's something wrong with you uh, mentally. You have mental health issues, but you put yourself out there on the dating market hoping to run into a guy who's going to be uh patient enough with you as you work through all of your issues and what'd be funny is y'all think y'all gonna work through y'all issues by yourselves without professional help you think I, I don't know what you think is going to happen but you think you're going to listen to some sort of audio tape and that's going to be the end of it or you're going to run across a magical uh, radio show and that person's going to say the magical words and then poof snap you are you are back to reality you are no longer this traumatized woman that you were uh, however long ago uh, your, your your issues popped up. So this got me to thinking, how long are you going to take fixing yourself? Because not only are you hoping to run into a guy that doesn't, that's, that's patient, I guess, and, you know, doesn't want to walk out on you, but you're also going to cut off parts of yourself, like not literally, but you're going to cut off access to certain parts of yourself and... It's kind of corny. It's kind of, it's really kind of unfair. This guy is being patient, you know, let's, let's hypothetically say this guy is patient, you know. Let's say that this guy is patient with you working yourself out and your issues. You know, you have temper tantrums or whatever the case is, or, you know, you have just unresolved issues. Let's say he's patient enough to just, you know, wait, wait it out with you, whatever. What sense does it make to be celibate? What sense does it make to cut off certain parts of your uh, access to certain parts of you if you, if you, want, like, if you want somebody to basically uh, be patient with you? It makes sense that you uh, have sex with this person if you find them attractive and you find them sexually attractive. It makes sense that, you know, you should come out, you should come out your purse as well. I'm going to be real with you. Not only should you be breaking them off some ass, you should also be coming out your purse. Let's just be realistic. You want somebody that's going to be really, really patient with you as you work through all your issues. And your issues could be a long list of things. You, uh, I, I knew a chick that was divorced for four years and she never, I, I don't think she ever got over it. She tried to blame him for everything, you know, that's going on. Like his wife, his ex-wife is just always talking about her, whatever cases. But I don't believe that. I think she was a cunt. And she knows she, she was a cunt. She was a delusional about being a cunt. And, you know, um, she's making a bigger deal out of something that, that than it is. You know, your divorce, um, I don't see how your other, your other woman is even an issue. You might hate the fact that he, he moved on and that might be it. You know, you might hate the fact that he moved on and you're still single and, you know, you got to now you used to be being in a relationship and now there are certain parts of the relationship you can't even get access to. You can't even get the companionship. You can't even sit up and cuddle and watch whatever reality TV shows you like you used to like to watch when you were uh, married or whatever case or in a relationship. Uh, other things that might come into play. You might be somebody who gets uh, attached to a guy really easily sexually or whatever case is after having sex with him. You might feel like y'all go together. Um, those are uh, issues that you have. And I don't believe those guys be lying to you as you try to make it out to me. I believe you knew the deal, but you were just lying to yourself about it. But it's just a, it's, it, it could be a long list of things that y'all have going on that y'all never straighten out. And then when you try to get into a relationship with somebody else, or you hope to be in a relationship with somebody else, you're bringing all that crap to that person. And then you're not even giving up enough. You're not bringing anything to the table. And what I say bringing something to the table, unlike, you know, some of these other, um, uh, videos or people who talk in these videos, I'm talking about monetary. I'm talking about money. I'm talking about uh, 
other things, uh, your cooperation, your submissiveness, those are valuable things as well. Those are uh, desirable feminine traits, but I'm definitely also, also talking about money as well. It would be nice to be the, uh, the guy who's, um, who's dealing with a broad, who's having like, you know, issues, I suppose, mental issues, but she's also breaking off money as well as sex, as well as, you know, trying the, her best to be uh, more cooperative, trying her best to be more submissive. It ain't gonna work out. I don't, I don't think it will, but it's gonna work out. Eventually, you're just gonna have to see a professional. But it's like, if you're, going, if you're gonna ask for a guy to do things that you know are damn near impossible, then you might as well be giving up, like, let, you might as well be giving up access to certain things. It don't make no sense for you to cut certain things off when you're asking a lot out of somebody. And then some of y'all be having kids. That's another thing. Some of y'all be having kids and you just want so much out of a guy. You want the man to be the man. You are, you think submission is a light, is a light uh, switch that you can just turn off and on. You don't really have any type of, um, um, I want to say, uh, examples of a successful marriage, you weren't taught how to be submissive, basically. And you seem to think that you're just going to turn it on and off when the right guy comes along. And realistically, the right guy that came along, if he's patient enough to deal with you as you go through your episodes, that's the right guy. Thinking that you can do better than that is why you're single and you're going to die alone. And you know you're going to die alone. That's why every other day you're telling yourself you're telling somebody that's talking to you oh well i'm going to die alone because you know this already you know that the closer you, the older you get and the less attractive you become you know that nobody's going to put up with you and one thing i disagree about a lot like some of these other um uh shows is that you know just because a woman gets older does that doesn't necessarily it does Make it hard for her to get married, but I don't think she's like hit the wall just because she's older. Usually other th other factors come into play. But anyway, um, that's it, you know, that's, that's all the, that's, 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 just throw it out there, you know. Again, once again, I want to know how long are you going to take fixing yourself? Because these are ridiculous things that you that you are asking for from these guys and you don't even have, you, you won't even give access to certain parts of you. And we're not even just talking about like, I uh, already specified it wasn't just like a sexual thing, but we're talking about, I'm mostly talking about money. And then like from money on down, it goes to, you know, you being cooperative, you being submissive, you being feminine. How? long are you going to take to fix yourself because y'all be talking about y'all fixing yourself y'all be at this for a long time for years and it's like goddamn bitch how long is this going to take anyway this is all the time that i have for this video if you guys like it give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it you can give it a thumbs down either way it helps the channel out if you'd like to support the channel you can definitely donate to my cash app my paypal and i guess if you have Bitcoin, you can do that as well. Uh, it's a great thing to have. You know, I'm, I'm seeing Bitcoin do its thing. Also, if you'd like to support, uh, another way you can support the uh, the channel, as well as rock some pretty cool gear, you can head to stopsimplynow.com slash shop and get the latest uh, clothing and accessories, apparel, all that stuff. And that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.